Yo, Crawl here with another video on our Music World series and today we want to do playlists. Now, first of all, I need to talk about something right here. I had to do a check here, I didn't explain this well enough. I need, we need to check if Arx1 is even present before we can replace something in Arx1. This could be the case if Arx, if, if a user doesn't provide any Arx after, after the space, for example, if he calls stop, like he just calls stop, he doesn't do, he doesn't do a space and puts a value behind it. Now this will error at you and it will it will crash the bot basically. It will actually not crash the bot, but it will tell you that like if you do M stop, you get an unhandled promise. Now the problem is you could also just scope this to the play command itself. Then you wouldn't have any issues. But we just we're just gonna keep this like this because this is a music bot only. We don't need any any special features, right? We, this is we really just a music bot. It doesn't do anything else. Another thing is we. We didn't do the util for the song name so where do we construct our song here right for the title so we still want to do youtube escape markdown for the title so we don't have any issues here running and now we're pretty much good to go so for playlist support we need to refactor a lot of stuff we need to extract all of this here basically kind of and we need to do a check if someone posted a playlist. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do an if statement and do url.match. This is very important. And in here, I already have a regex prepared for that because I used to, I, I, I had playlist support already on my bot. So this is the regex for it. We check for HTTP, HTTPS at the beginning, www.youtube.com or youtube.com. And we check if there's a playlist and URL in there. We don't really care what's coming after that, but this is, this is basically what a playlist URL on YouTube looks like. If it's not minified through some other URL shortener, and if if it's not uh, a playlist, right? We just execute the normal code. If it is a playlist, though, we need to do something different. So we do const playlist, and we await a value here, and the value here will be YouTube dot get playlist, and then we pass in the URL again. And here we need to do some refactoring to do refactor and we also need to do the same down here because this will disappear so what we're gonna do is yeah, gonna put that in our clipboard we don't need that anymore now we need a function a new one we're gonna make it an async function because we need to await in it we're gonna call this handle video and we need to pass some values in here as you can see so the first thing we need is the video the second thing we need is the is the message the third thing we need is the voice channel and then we are pretty much good to go now the server queue we cannot pass the server queue in because if we if we call this this function here and we pass in the server queue you will immediately realize it won't work because the server queue we only we only get the server queue on a, a message event. So we get it here once, and then we obviously need to loop here, right? We pass in the same server queue each time. We don't we don't get a new one. We don't get the updated one because we don't receive a new message. I don't know how to explain it, right? It should be obvious. <laughs> we, don't, we don't receive a new message. So now we need to get the server queue in here. So we do const server queue equals queue.get and then we have a message object in here so we do get that ID right now we have the server queue problem solved too now we have another problem we will I will show you how it looks like um, first of all we need to return a value here so that my ESLIN shut the fucks up and now here's the where the refactoring part comes in here we can just do return handle video right and just pass in what was it the video the message and the voice channel and this would just work as usual i can show this too so if we do start up the bot first if we do ammo play and we do just in just in beaver because i love him right just beaver baby joins the voice channel and plays the music right so this this is already just working and i'm gonna listen to that song while i continue because i love just beaver <coughs> now the next thing we're gonna do is here, we need, first of all, we need to get the video. So we do const videos equals await playlist dot get videos. This is a function on the playlist itself. And 
after that we do we just do a for loop so we do for const video of object of values and in there was it values i think it was values it wasn't keys right yeah it was values so we pass in videos here and in here we just do our for loop so first do we need to do anything else no yes no yes we need to do uh, const video 2 equals await youtube.get video by id and then we pass in the video.id right now this will yell at us because we're using await in a for loop this is not an issue so i just do is lint disable line no await in, in in loop i'm going to copy this because i'm going to do another await in here just to make sure so we're going to do await handle video and we pass in the video to the message and the voice channel now why i said we need another value in here you will see why because now i'm going to add my playlist here so we do and play playlist and you will see something very oh i need to restart the product to stop listening to him so we do m no play and put the playlist in here and now you can see right this is already an issue like we are already hitting the red limit here so what we need to do is we go back and pass a boolean here we don't pass the boolean down here and we make sure that we that, that this is called playlist and it's uh, on false by default and down here what we're going to do is yeah we're just going to do an if else here if playlist right which is return undefined and up here we do guild, and we still have access to the playlist but I'm not sure what if, what, 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 what do we get back actually <laughs> that would be nice to know right so I'm gonna be very evil and just return here I don't care about the unreachable code. Now let me just check very quick what we get back. Because I think I know what we get back. Okay, very nice. So, channel, this is my channel, this is the animal. Play yeah, there we go. We get the title back. So we can just call. Playlist. And then playlist dot title has been added to the queue right so now this will execute before the follow is way finished right so i'm not sure if we could put this below but yeah we could we could we could try putting it below here yeah. so it will actually output after the follow is done so we can return it here so and, and this and this will stop the spamminess of it hopefully so we just pass in our playlist to again it starts playing it adds a ton of playlists you can see that here in my console it just adds a ton of videos oh yeah <laughs> um i was very smart when doing that oh boy oh boy like, i'm a smart guy right message the channel that sent dear god how did that happen okay let's do it again just so you can see in the console too, right? You can see how, how it rattles down, right? Through all of that. And if you go back to this card, we just wait a second and then boom, playlist anyway has been added to the queue. And now if we do m.q, boom! There is songs in our queue. Isn't that amazing? That that's surely amazing, right? Now this should be around 36, right? I'm not gonna count them. I hope, I just hope it's 36. I don't have an evil command, so I can check. So, yeah. Play this support, right off the box. Enjoy. I hope you like it. And we see us in the next video.